We now have this new revenue initiative that's headed for the ballot, largely because of student protests and because of a campaign run by workers and their unions. It would generate up to $9 billion in new revenue for the state of California. What has the UC Board of Regents done thus far with that new initiative headed to the ballot? My understanding is that through President Udoff, you've been in talks with the governor, where you're prepared to settle for just $100 million in new funding a year, coupled with tuition hikes. Why would we settle for $100 million a year? You run this school like a corporation. You run it like it's supposed to make money rather than serve the people. It says that I can pull the speaker's time that aren't here for mine. So there's more than 100,000 workers not here and more than 200,000 students. Woo! And I think the architecture of these meetings is so undemocratic that it's impossible to, in good conscience, take part in the functioning of this. Um, I see public comment as a complete farce used to make this seem like a slightly democratic uh, space. So I'm going to use my time accordingly. To what? To use my time accordingly. <laughs> Um, I'd also really like to speak for the student activists. They can't be here because you barred them from politics. There are hundreds of millions of dollars from that ballot initiative that are now in the proposed budget in Sacramento, targeted to go to accelerating bond debt repayments to Wall Street. Mm. Should we really be using that new revenue for Wall Street Thank or for you. rolling back tuition increases? If you're really on Thank our you. side, You'll drop the secret talks with the governor, and you'll join us in calling for hundreds of millions of dollars in new funding for UC. And the stated goal of the UC master plan is to become free. You have abandoned that goal long ago, and I doubt whether that is legal at all. I want to Thank talk about you. the real threat here. It's you. We've been threatened, intimidated, and decide. harassed by your police, by Udoff sending that letter to Jewish Thanks. Zionist students. That's Thank you. Mary Higgins. No. Wait, I'm not finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> across the country. I have worked my butt off over the years at bake sales, at I don't know how many fundraisers to put my daughter through schools. I am in debt because I sent her to public school, to a private school for a while. But you know what? UC colleges are not on my list right now. They're not on the top of my list of where to send my daughter to college. I don't know how we're going to afford it. I am looking at going back to Louisiana or someplace in the South 
where education is actually at a reasonable level, and that is a shame. I move. I move. You're going against your commanding officer. Give me a second. He said that that Keep was the area we were supposed Keep to Keep moving. Do it downstairs. We have not been given a dispersal order for eight months. Let's go. We haven't gone downstairs. Down the stairs. You're full of shit. You're in violation of our law. You have not given a dispersal order for this area. You threw a fucking stupid. You need to leave now, or we will start arresting you. Go to battery on.